there was a period of time in which the most advanced geometrical understanding of these higher dimensional spaces was to be found not in the scholarly works of accredited mathematicians, but in the beautiful romantic piano compositions of the musicians. And I find that just amazing. So the first remarkable fact is that Chopin had a kind of deep knowledge, a knowledge that we very naturally express geometrically, but which he could only express by writing beautiful romantic piano pieces. And I find there to be something unbelievably poetic about him returning on his deathbed to this structure, as if he couldn't quite say what he needed to say with that E minor prelude, as if he hadn't quite demonstrated his thorough understanding of these possibilities and wanted to leave us a really obvious clue about what he was doing. And again, it's quite striking that nobody picked up on the clues for a century and a half. Let's thought one is that these composers both knew about this stuff and yet didn't know about this stuff because they weren't theorists and they didn't have anything like the technical tools to sort of explain what they were doing in a rigorous way.